Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about some more problems related to calendars. Here the question is, uh, what was the day of the week on 28th May 2006? 28th May. 28th May is nothing but uh, 5th month and uh, 2006. See, again the same thing uh, as we already discussed in the previous sessions. Uh, 2005 years are already completed and the running year is 2006th year. Running year is 2006th year and the left hand side values are completed years. Always keep that in mind. And in running year, we are calculating May 2000, May 28. May 28. So, running year is normal year. Why? Because 2006 is not divisible by 4. Therefore, this is normal year. So, February month consisting of 28 days only. Now, first you can start with January. January 31 days. February 28 days. March 31 days. April 30 days. And May, you should not write 31 days. Why? Because we are calculating May 28th. We are calculating May 28th. So, you have to write... 28th day. You have to write 28th till May 28th. So, here the number of odd days in 28 days that is 0 exactly 4 weeks and next here 2 odd days, here 3 odd days, here 0 exactly 4 weeks, here 3 odd days, 3 plus 3 plus 2 total 8. 8 is nothing but 1. 1 week, 8 days is nothing but uh, 1 week uh, again divided by 7. 1 week plus 1 extra day. So, the remainder is 1. Right hand side value is 1. Number of odd days to the right hand side, that value is 1. Coming to left hand side, first of all, uh, in 2005 years, uh, you have to write maximum 400 multiple. Maximum 400 multiple. Maximum 400 multiple in 2005 years, that is 2000. Again, in after that, you have to write 5 years. Additionally, 5 years are left over. Here, for these 2000 years, number of odd days are 0. Again, you can divide uh, in 5 years. Uh, we have only 1 leap year. While dividing with 4, the quotient is 1. That is the reason why number of leap years are 1. And remaining... 4 years are normal years. Every normal year consisting of 1 odd day, leap year consisting of 2 odd days. Therefore, number of uh, odd days in uh, this leap uh, in these years 2 and here it is 4. This value is 4. 4 plus 2, 6 plus right hand side 1, 7. 7 is nothing but 1 week. Uh, therefore, number of odd days. Uh, Number of odd days is equal to 0. Odd days is equal to 0. Why? Because 4 plus 2, 6. And to the right hand side, we are having one more day, 7. 7 days is equal to exactly 1 week. Therefore, the remainder left over will be 0. That 0 indicates the week uh, Sunday. 0 is nothing but what? Sunday. Week is always starts with uh, Sunday. Option D is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Here the question is what will be the day of the week on 15th August 2010? 15th August 2010. As we are calculating 15th August 2010, here the running year is 2010 uh, and that is not a leap year. That is not a Leap year, so February month is having only 28 days. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. In August, I have to write only 15 days. In August, I have to write only 15 days. Why? Because uh, I am calculating 15th August 2010. And the left hand side that is 2009 years are completed. 2009 years are 
completed right first we will finish right hand side here number of odd days 1 here 3 2 3 2 3 0 3 guys when you are familiar with whenever you are familiar with the number of odd days in that case there is no need of writing this 31 28 31 30 all these are not at all required number of days are fixed in each and every month except february whether if it is a leap year then only february month is 29 or otherwise uh, for normal year february month is 28 only right so you can directly write if it is 31 odd days are 3 if it is 30 odd days are 2 if it is 28 odd days are 0 if it is 29 odd days are 1 and finally you have to write either whatever the date he has given august 15 15 days odd days are 1 in that way you can easily calculate here 3 plus 3 plus 1 7 days are cancelled again 3 plus 2 plus 2 7 days are cancelled right hand side value is 3 days uh, and coming to left hand side uh, you have to write maximum 400 multiple which is uh, 2000 2009 maximum 400 multiple 2000 years plus uh, additionally 9 years are there for these 2000 years number of odd is uh, 0 for these 2000 years number of odd is uh, 0 again in 9 years again in 9 years uh, normal years will be there and also leap years will be there number of leap years number of uh, leap years uh, that is 2 why because if you divide with 4 you will get quotient as 2 number of leap years 2 and uh, normal years uh, 7 normal years 7 and leap years 2 therefore every normal year consisting of one odd day and leap year consisting of two odd days 2 into 2 4 this is 7 and this is uh, 4. Now, coming to this case, uh, 7 is nothing but exactly 1 week. Therefore, you can cancel number of odd days 0. Here, left hand side value is 4. Right hand side value is 3. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 7 is exactly 1 week. Uh, therefore, number of odd days are 0. Number of odd days are 0 for this question number of odd days are 0. If number of odd days are 0, that week is called as, uh, that day is called as uh, Sunday. If number of odd days are 0, that day is called as uh, Sunday. Option A is the right answer for this question. Guys, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.